In this video, we will be importing, scaling, and aligning images in Blender to help with the fitting of an upper limb prosthetic. Bringing photos into the Blender space makes it easy to scale and model designs around the anatomy of your client. You will need to start with good quality photos. Watch and follow the video taking recipient photos for Enable to get the best results. For this Blender tutorial, you will need Photo 1, the top view, and Photo 2, the side view. If you have never used Blender, please watch and follow one or two Getting Started with Blender videos on YouTube. You should be able to pan and zoom around the 3D space Open the Enable Device Sizing Blender file, which you can download on Thingiverse. Device Sizer, version 1.3 and beyond, contain models for centimeter and inch grids, which help with the image scaling process. You can look in the lower left hand corner to see the keys I'm pressing on my keyboard and mouse. Move your mouse into the 3D view window and hit number pad 7 to see the top view. Look at the words in the upper left of that window. It should say top ortho or orthographic. If it says top perspective, hit numpad 5 to go back to ortho. This right side menu bar toggles on and off with the N key and if you have a lot of items opened up via these triangles, here's a handle you can use to scroll the menu up and down. In the background image menu, find a box titled Not Set. In that box, click Open, and then navigate to the correct folder and select a top view background image. When the photo imports, it will probably be very small. This rectangular panel controls the settings for this background image. The default size is 5, which is way too small. So in this field, click and drag the mouse to the right. You should see the photo getting bigger. We want the ruler in the image to match up with one of the grids. Just above the size field are the left-right position control and the up-down position control for the photo. If the ruler shows inches, click in the left-right position control and drag the mouse to the right. The photo should move to the 12 inches grid on the right. If the ruler shows centimeters, click in the left-right position control and drag the mouse to the left. The photo should move to the 30 centimeter grid on the left. Click in the up down position control and drag the mouse to move the image up and down. Manipulate these three size and position fields until the ruler lines in the photo match up with the grid lines in Blender. When those lines match, your photo is properly scaled in the scene. You can also use the opacity slider to control how opaque or transparent the photo will appear. Now use the up-down position control to slide the client's distal outline to the end of the grid. And where it says Axis, click on All Views and change it to Top. Okay, your top view photo is now properly scaled and in position. Next, we'll import the side view photo, scale it to the scene, and match it up with the end of the grid, just like we did with the top photo. Use the next background image panel to open up a side view photo. The affected limb of this client is a left hand so I'm viewing it from the right side. Number pad 3 is right side view. 
If your affected limb is a right hand, your image will be a mirror of this one. So use the left side view, which is control number pad 3. You can also select views here at the bottom left of the 3D window. Follow the same procedure for sizing and positioning the photo until the ruler in the photo matches the grid in the scene. Once the scale is correct, use the left-right position control to make the client's distal edge reach the end of the grid. Finally, where it says Axis, click on All Views and change it to Right for this client's left hand, or Left if the photo is a right hand. Now you're ready to position and scale devices over the images to help determine the best fit for your client. You can even use imported photos to help you make new designs for your client. Good luck and thanks for watching.